I, I do not want to sound like a, like an asshole right now. Hi, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, we have groundbreaking news coming from the winter meetings. The Blue Jays have acquired Anthony Castro and Walker Lockett. From the waiver wire for basically nothing, and we're going to be talking about who those guys well, are. Well, I mean, I'm sure that so. everyone is very familiar with those household yeah. names, so this should be a very, very <laughs> short video. That was a joke, guys. We don't know who these guys are. We literally were like, who are these guys? Showed up on our phone. We're like, oh, well, let's find out. And, well, we have the results, so you're about to find out with us. But, my friend, before we get into that, we do have a new Patreon member. Yes, so we do. shout out to them. Um, your it mom, is my mom, <laughs> Alana Hawthorne. Welcome to the community for Welcome becoming a Patreon you. member. Woo! And she has a question for us as well. This is what happens when you become a Patreon. You get to ask us anything you want, and we answer it live on the show. What is it? Our question is: If you could spend a day with a Blue Jay player, who would it be? Why? And what would you do? Okay. Um. You know, it's funny. We actually, we did, we did this whole podcast. Uh, we forgot to hit record. <laughs> and, and the initial answer that I gave was um, I would I would pick Tanner Rourke and we would do a bullpen session. Uh, and he would just, I, I would just, I would ask him, I'd be like, well, why? Like, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> um, but I no, you know what? I, I think I, I think I regret that answer. I think truthfully, I would want, I what would I want? Maybe it's like me and Alejandro Kirk doing something. Okay. Like me and Kirk, like, like eating a steak or something. I feel like Kirk, like, I feel like, you know what? I bet, I bet Kirk is a good cook, but he's a good yeah. chef. And that has nothing to do with his body at all. That's just, that's like, just a, that's just a comment. Maybe he gets fed good t- I mean, meals, he's gotta, right? you know, yeah. it's like, <laughs> he's, he's gotta, so... Maybe me and, me and Kirk making a steak. That's what it would yeah, be. Yeah, right. Me and Alejandro Kirk having a steak together and shooting the shit while we're eating the stir, uh, strip loin. Awesome, awesome. I'm, I'm going to stick to my answer. And, you know, I'm a big fan of video games, especially MLB The Show. And MLB The Show 21 is coming out. So when when that game comes out, I would like to play it with Bo Bichette, who also really loves MLB The Show. Mm-hmm. I think he's sponsored by them, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. And, uh, yeah, we would just hang out. Play video games, talk baseball, and and chill. Like, he'd probably be a pretty cool guy to chill with. So yeah, that's why. Adam's mom, <laughs> Alana, thank you so much for becoming a part of the community. I hope that you are satisfied with our answer, and thank you again for the question. Thank you. So let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Yes. Um. So you know, let's start with Anthony Castro. Uh, this guy. Um. You know, he's been uh, part of Detroit Tigers for a very, very long time. He's been part of their organization, but uh, he's barely seen the field. Yeah, like he's played literally one inning, and he gave up a home run, two runs, a walk, a strikeout, uh, and an 18 ERA. Uh, so obviously, um, we're not going to look at that and be like, this is him. He's bad. Yeah, like I mean, everyone it's, does it's that. point one of an inning, yeah. and it doesn't matter. It doesn't prove anything. Um, however, his career in the minors – is really good, and I believe it's what seven seasons he's played in the minor yeah, leagues? dude. This guy's coming up to be a Hall of Fame minor leaguer at <laughs> yeah, this point, you know. Seriously, he, like he's literally having it in his whole career in the minors, and he did pretty well. You know, he's had a 3.48 ERA in his seven seasons. Uh, over that time, he's pitched for 556 innings and had 521 strikeouts in those innings um so you know i mean decent right like a like a decent guy and uh, for a lot of these years i was looking back at them and you know he's been pitching he's had a couple years of over 100 innings you know per season uh so he's been a reliable starter in the minors but the the fact remains uh like he hasn't he hasn't been to the mlb and he's coming he's going to be turning 26 relatively soon Um, so realistically, Anthony Castro is very, very simply a depth play. Uh, I do not expect him to be seeing the field, um, at all, uh, in this coming season. If we are not dealing with extensive injuries or he is not like really, really popping off in the minors and it'd have to be triple A too, because he's been spending most of his time in double A. 
Yeah, I, I see this move as like a nice kind of like insurance blanket because as you all know, the rumors out there, we're trying to make a bunch of trades this off season. And, mm. you know, part of that, we're going to have to start shipping off some of our minor league prospects. And this guy is ranked 19th now in our Surprisingly. system. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a bit of a value. You know, he is a, a track small, record. small bar of value yeah. there. So. so it's like if we do end up shipping off maybe some of our pitchers or whoever, then we have some insurance blanket. And that's exactly what Anthony Castro uh, provides to us. You mm-hmm. know, Regardless, you know, he's, he's going to be 26 soon. So who wins he going to make his major league debut? You think probably not anytime soon. I would probably stick by that. Um, I guess he, he's made his debut. Oh yeah, technically, already, technically, but, yeah. But like, you know, I don't really count making, that. Yeah, you know? I, I'd say that if this guy's gonna have a career in the MLB, I I do not want to sound like a, like an asshole right now. But it's probably going to be short, and it will probably be out of the bullpen as a bullpen, as an yeah. injury oh. sort of like we are we are very hurt. We need someone yeah. now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or and, he's just destroying, like you said. Yeah. Or he, or he really turns it around. Which fingers crossed, bro. I mean, yeah. like we're in your corner now. Yeah. Um, Walker Lockett. This oh, is the yeah. other guy, and and he is a little bit different. He has been in the MLB for a little while, and it hasn't been ideal. Now he has pitched for fifty four innings, and that is over the span of three seasons now. So very much a bullpen arm, and uh. It's, it's it sucks. It's, yeah, it's it, not good. It's it, it's really it's bad, bad. Actually, it's bad, guys. It's um, bad. I I was hoping for something good. It's not. Uh, the career number is this. It's seven point six seven ERA. Garbage. WHIP is one point seven seven. Yeah, it's gross. And however, uh, if we're looking for a positive note in this in this deal, he has been improving. I mean. <laughs> Uh, what, what did he do in uh, 2018? Well, what was in, his number I mean, in 2018, know? he had a 9.6 ERA. And then in 2019, it was a uh, 8.34. And then in 2020, a 4.96. So a silver lining in the mm-hmm. fact that we are improving. Um, I like Again, this guy <laughs> is very much going to be someone who... I, I really actually don't want to have on the opening day roster because he has an expected batting average against of 297 and an expected slugging against of 496. And that was in his improved year. And yeah, that's literally, uh, I think I said in the last podcast, and I will say it again, uh, the way to make an all-star batter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this guy is not the best. Um he once again is a depth play that I suspect will be spending a lot of time, if not the entirety of his time with the Blue Jays, yeah. in the minors. Yeah, and look, like now our forty-man roster is full with these two signings. We had thirty-eight. Now it's forty. It's full. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, if we start making any sort of signings or we start trading for players, which based on which, the rumors, <laughs> we should be. We will. And if we do that, someone's got to go. And. I'd say, obviously, my, I mean, I don't know the rest of the people, but, I mean, Walker Lockett, like, I mean, I guess he would go. Unless yeah. there's someone, you know, burning a hole in our minor, in our 40 man, it's like, you got to get rid of this command. But either way, these guys may not be even around coming in 2021. No. Um, that is if we start making a trade for people. And winter meetings are now, guys, so you never know what could happen with the Toronto Blue Jays in the winter meetings after the amount of rumors that we've been just screaming to the whole world, like grabbing any single player that might have some sort of value, even if they don't, Mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. The New York Mets are basically the the guys to to fight for, for over the free agency. That is, that is what has been rumored. (sighs) However, I don't think they were as much of a fight about these boys. No, I think we Um, clearly got them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think a, anyone else was going. It really wasn't sad. a hard battle, um, but once again, fingers crossed for you guys. And mm-hmm. I wish Anthony Castro and Walker Lockett the best of luck. And I hope this is just the beginning of many more names to come. Yes, names with MLB careers that are decent, I or hope. even better than or decent. even better. Maybe they're all stars. Would be nice. Would be nice, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. How do you feel about these new signings? 
I, I mean, I would love to hear a hot take. Someone be like, Anthony Castro, I love that guy. I saw him in a truck, blah, blah, blah. If you have a story like that, please let us know. I'd love to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys, make sure to check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, the Instagram, always popping off. Make sure to subscribe on the channel. And uh, Twitter, we're starting to post on there a little bit more. And yeah. uh, Patreon, if you want your question answered, just like earlier in the show today. $3 a month. Thank you so much for watching. And go Jays, go.